What if I told you the new iPhone 11 was up to two times slower than last year's iPhone XS? Well, it turns out because of a technology called 3D Touch, last year's iPhone is actually up to 100% faster than the new iPhone 11. What 3D Touch was, was a pressure sensitive layer embedded beneath the glass and the display that registered the X and Y coordinates of where you were pressing and detected how hard you were pressing there. This was a step up from the technology found in the Apple Watch, which had force touch and could register how firmly you were pressing, but not where you were pressing. With the new iPhone 11, Apple decided to get rid of this feature. Now this had its benefits as the 3D touch layer was between the glass and the display. And by removing that layer, Apple was able to increase the size of the battery. It's one of the reasons the iPhone 11 gets such excellent battery life. However, because they removed 3D touch, Apple replaced it with something called haptic touch. Instead of pressing firmly to activate secondary actions, you know, tap and hold your finger on the display and have to wait for the phone to respond. This extra delay may not be noticeable by some, but as someone who uses this feature on a daily basis to make my tasks faster and easier, such as opening a new tab, sending a new message, composing a new email, or quickly checking the weather, this delay really adds up and it makes the new iPhone 11 feel much slower than last year's iPhone. To find out exactly how much slower, I put the two technologies head to head and I film them in slow motion at 60 frames per second. One of the things I do most is open a new tab in Safari. Here you can see 3D Touch has a noticeable speed improvement. The iPhone 11 seems to almost lag behind. Another useful feature is previewing a link and then opening it in a new tab. Here again, an action I do every day is much faster thanks to 3D Touch. You can see 3D Touch opens the new tab well before the iPhone 11 does. Composing a new message is something I do all the time. I love using iMessage, but when it takes what feels like a full second slower on the new iPhone, it's really annoying. Here you can see the old iPhone XS opens the message composition window before the Messages app even opens on iPhone 11. That's how much of a difference 3D Touch makes. Every day I'm doing this. Every day I'm composing new messages. And every day I'm doing it half a second slower on the new iPhone 11. Quickly creating calendar events is another useful feature. And 3D Touch continues to be noticeably faster than haptic touch on the iPhone 11. The same thing goes with creating a new reminder in Apple's Reminders application or heck, any application. It's just quicker to respond with 3D Touch. A great example of the time difference is the weather application. With 3D Touch, the widget opens almost instantaneously. With haptic touch, you're waiting a good half a beat for the phone to respond. Last year's iPhone continues to excel with basic tasks such as opening the camera application. If we watch this again in slow motion, the camera app is open and ready to go on the iPhone XS, before it is on the iPhone 11. 3D Touch also made your control center feel faster. You could more quickly jump into the context menus, change settings, and set timers. With the new iPhone 11, everything just feels a beat behind what you were able to do with last year's iPhone. Now it's true the difference here is a little less noticeable, and the truth is with some of the icons, you can simply tap on them as opposed to having to 3D touch or tap and hold, but still I do feel 3D touch provided a better experience and I felt I got more immediate satisfying reactions. The reason this is so important to me is these are the little things I do every day and being able to do them that much faster makes a big difference. Wouldn't you want your phone to be faster at the little tasks you have to do every day? I certainly do. And that's why I don't think I can upgrade my iPhone XS. Now, if these examples haven't convinced you yet, take a look at text editing and text manipulation. With the old system of 3D touch, you could 3D touch anywhere on the keyboard to move the cursor around. It's like the keyboard is now a trackpad. Haptic touch on the iPhone 11, on the other hand, only works on the spacebar. You can't press and hold just anywhere. 
only the space bar. You press and hold on the space bar to move the cursor around and you get the same trackpad experience. The next difference is in selecting text. With 3D Touch, you press hard over a word to select it and you can move your finger to increase your selection. The selection snaps to each word, making it easy to select and replace text. With haptic touch, you need a second finger, or preferably a second hand, to make a selection. You tap to start the selection, and then you drag your thumb to expand the selection. The problem is that with haptic touch, the selection does not snap to each word. Instead, it expands by character. This makes it easy to select more than you intend to, and then you have to start over. With 3D Touch, not only does it snap to each word, but if you want to deselect, you just press down firmly on the keyboard. And then to make a new selection, you press firmly on the keyboard again. With the shortcut of pressure sensitivity, 3D Touch makes selecting, editing, and writing a breeze on an iPhone. Perfect for writing social media posts, sending texts, composing emails, or doing any other text-related activities on your iPhone. With haptic touch on the iPhone 11, it's easy to move the cursor around, but it's slower and more cumbersome to make selections and edit text, to the point where I don't even use the feature anymore. This video has been about my love for 3D Touch, and this is my polite plea to Apple to please bring it back. With 3D Touch, you had created something magical, delightful to use, that made the normal everyday user experience of using iPhone that much better and that much faster. And now, with the new iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro, you've made everything meaningfully slower again. So please consider bringing back 3D Touch. I honestly don't think I can upgrade without it. If you're interested in picking up an iPhone XS, the last greatest iPhone with 3D Touch, you can find them for around $400 to $450, gently used on Swappa. I'm part of Swappa's affiliate program, so qualifying purchases earn me commission. Like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Well, actually not really like this one. I review cell phone plans, so this video is a little out of the ordinary for me, but get subscribed if you want to hang around in future videos. I'm Stetson, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.